Hey guys, it is Lauren Kelly and we are at Cy Lakes High School and I am here with some incredible students and even more incredible faculty. Michelle Herman, how are you today? I am great. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's tell all of Houston what you do here. At Cypress Lakes, we have the College Academy. The College Academy, this is our second year of hosting the College Academy on campus, and we have students that are attempting to earn an associate's degree while in high school. That's not fair, because that wasn't available when I went to high school. Very true, nor was it when I was there. Okay, so associate's degree, they can get up to how many hours here in high school? 60 hours. Wow, they can walk into college with 60 hours. Correct, they can walk into college with 60 hours. So I do want to talk a little bit about the Cool Schools contest. Let's just talk about the SciFair um, school district size. It's huge. Yes, it is. We have over 100,000 plus students in SciFair ISD. Oh my gosh, and you guys got to go online and vote. It was sponsored by Go Public Gulf Coast, and over two weeks, you brought in 7,259 votes. That is awesome. They did a great job. <laughs> they did. Did you get them to be like, hey, come vote for me. I'll give you an extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. They, the students respond well. Yeah, okay, so where can they find more information on how to get some college credit or maybe even get in contact with you or faculty here? Definitely, they can uh, go to the Cypher ISD webpage, okay. or they could go to the Cypress Lakes website webpage. There's many opportunities. That's one of the models of SciFair ISD is opportunity for all. And that website is cfisd.net if they want more information. Correct. Now, what do you say we go in here, we talk to Mr. Philip Klespis of the history class. That sounds great. I hear that he knows a lot of stuff about he does this. Know a lot. Shall we go on in? We're going to barge on into this classroom. This is a sophomore class. Hi guys. Welcome to Houston Live! How you doing? <laughs> they take orders well, huh? They do, they do. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Philip, tell us about the class you teach, about the students you have here in SciFair. Uh, so I teach dual credit U.S. history, and usually this is a class that's only reserved for uh, juniors, but with our new college academy, they're actually taking this class as sophomores in high school. Wow, all of you guys are sophomores? Raise your hand if you're a sophomore. Wow! Oh, nice job. Yeah, they're, they're, they've actually done really well. Um, I'm very proud of all of them. Um, this class in particular has been working really hard today. Um, so it's a bit of an adjustment period for a lot of students going from a, like, freshman to then all of a sudden you're thrust in this college class. Well, it has to be an experience to, to try a high school class mm -hmm. because it's very different walking into a high school class and a college class. Right, and... One of the things I try to focus on with them is not so much learning the material. I mean, yes, learn the material, but also giving them, like, soft skills, time management, not procrastinating, kind of self-care at times, making them successful not just in my class but also in future classes and when they leave here. What's one of the biggest differences in a high school class do you find yourself as opposed to the college class? Well, when I teach at the college class, I have more time or I, I don't have as much time really um here because we have you know certain time frames certain data points the, the bell the bell's the gonna bell, ring right the bell's about to <laughs> ring so we need to hit that um but at the college it's more the students don't require as much kind of hands-on whereas these guys really need sometimes a lot of guidance but sometimes like right now where they don't need any guidance at all i want to point out your keys to success on your wall you made that sign why don't you go ahead and read to us some of those uh keys you have yeah so this is one that the students actually made it at the beginning of the year and then i had it made into a poster so it says don't just uh don't procrastinate manage your time wisely take care of yourself don't panic you your resources, keep distractions away, and then be organized. Again, things that every successful person really should know, and I'm trying to keep it keep it with them now as just sophomores. Even as adults, I think I need to take that sign home and take the keys to success to my everyday life. Yeah, I can send you that. Okay. I got a PDF of it. <laughs> Philip Klesmus, thank you so thank much, you and congratulations much. on the thank Cool you. Schools Award. Any other advice to students who might be coming in or who'd like to take these dual classes? Uh, just don't be afraid to take a chance. You may not think you can do it, but Every student has the ability to be successful, and every one of these students can and has the ability. Well, I think we just actually got hit by the bell, we saved by the by bell. bell. Yeah. <laughs> For more information, just log on to cfisd.net. Philip, thank you so much. Thank you and much, thank you. sophomores, you guys, congratulations Good and thank you again. Thank Woo! You. <laughs> They're all business. Stop disrupting the class. They are a very well-behaved class very. full of students, by the way. Thanks, Lauren. Big thank you as well to Go Public Gulf Coast for making our Cool Schools contest possible. You can find more information by going online to gopublicgulfcoast.com or by looking up their Facebook page. Very cool. Congratulations as well.